Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share a few products that I've been loving for the month of May. So starting off with my face, I have been loving the Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I am in the shade 310 Sun Beige. I got, I actually have a little tan going on right now, so this shade actually matches me pretty perfectly. And I have been applying this with my Eco Tools sponge. If you know me, if you've been watching my channel for a little while, you do know I like a full coverage foundation and drugstore. That's that's just an extra bonus. So the next product is going to be okay. Let's talk about bronzers. So they I have two bronzers to share with you, and I've mentioned both of these products in previous videos. The first bronzer I want to talk about is the Lottie London Tan Time Bronzer. This is in the shade Light Medium. I am wearing it on my eyelids right now. I do have, I don't want to say I have pigmented eyelids, but my eyelids are pretty much this color. So this is my eyelids, but better bronzer, if that makes any sense. But I do, I like wearing this all over my face, but I especially like using this all over my eyelids. Uh, the next bronzer that I really do love is the Milani Bake Bronzer in number five, Soleil. I don't normally use blush. Sometimes I do, but when I, for the most part, I just add this on top of my bronzer. It has some gold flecks in it, which you can't really see, but it gives you a nice sun-kissed look. And I think it's just a beautiful bronzer to warm up your face. And I don't think I swatched this for you. So this is the Milani so you can see it doesn't give off too too much color unless you go really heavy-handed with it and I don't think I swatched the Lottie London for you so I'll do that as well before I forget so this is more of a warmer bronzer now the next product I will talk about is a product that I have been loving I know with all of these brands there are new releases, new launches, new products coming out every single day, every single week, every month. So it's really hard to keep track and you're also forgetting about products that you already own. So I came back to an old product that I have loved for a while. It is the MAC O Darling Highlighter. This highlighter is just absolutely beautiful and I don't know if you can tell but I've really used this a lot. I'm wearing this on pretty much everywhere all over my face. Anything that looks kind of golden and glowy, that's what's going on in my inner tear ducts, on my brow bone, on my cheekbones, on my nose, above my cupid's bow. This is the highlighter. It is just such a beautiful gold. And I'm really bad at swatching, so please don't, please be nice. So there you go. So it's just such a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. Um, so the next product I'm going to talk about is an eyeliner that I've been loving. Normally I like wearing black eyeliners in my waterline, but lately I've been going more for a brown color. I'm not really sure if you can tell, but in my waterline I am wearing this. This is the Max Teddy eyeliner. Sorry, my camera overheated. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so... Normally I like wearing a black eyeliner in my waterline, but lately I've been reaching for brown eyeliners and my favorite so far has been the Max Teddy. I did swatch it already on my hand. It's more of a bronzy brown. So in the sunlight, it gives your eyes a really nice sparkle because when you look at it, you can, you can just see there's just a hint of gold in there. So of course, with brown eyeliners, it's a lot softer, especially in the daytime. But in the sun, in the sunlight, it just looks it just looks really pretty. I don't know what else to say about it, but I've been loving brown in the waterline. Unless it's night, then I reach for a black. So the last few products are all lip products, and the first one I've already done a video on. It is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I love this product. I wear it at night, in the morning, underneath liquid lipsticks. It's just such a great lip product and I can't say enough good things about it. So the next few products is my current lip combo that I have going on right here. It is the MAC 
lip liner in cork. I use this to line my lips. And then I apply the Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu in Rebel Rose. This is a really nice dusty, well, dusty pink color. I personally don't like wearing this alone. It's a little too pink for me. But when I apply a little bit of Dose of Color More Creamer Please, which is the Daisy and Katie collab, just tap that on top, it tones it down, which is really funny because with this color and this color, I don't like wearing them on its own. This is too pink for me and this is too orange for me. But combined, I've, I've just been loving it. So that's what I have on my lips right now. And for days that I wanna wear a gloss, I have been reaching for the Fenty Gloss Bomb. This lip gloss is, I mean, everyone raves about it and for really good reason. I can't say anything about about it. It it feels, it's just really comfortable on the lips. And I've been into matte lips for such a long time that when I finally, decided to try a lip gloss again this was the one and because the formula is so nice it's not sticky it's hydrating it just made me fall in love with lip glosses all over again so if you're not the type of person that likes lip glosses but you really like that wet look but you want a lip gloss that's not sticky i do recommend trying this out it's like i said there's just not enough good things to say about it so that was it for my May favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.